Here we're gonna look at a nice probability slash algebra question from the Brazilian undergraduate math Olympiad. This is the 2018 edition and it is question 15. So it goes like this. We wanna suppose that A is a real number and it is uniformly and randomly chosen from the closed interval minus three to four. So notice that has length seven. That's important to notice then our goal is to determine the probability that all the roots of this polynomial down here, x cubed plus ax squared plus ax plus one are real. So I'm gonna give you two hints for two different solutions that we're going to look at. The first hint is to know about the discriminant of a cubic polynomial. So there's this thing called the discriminant of a quadratic polynomial, and it's easy to use that to determine the number of real roots of a quadratic polynomial. Well, it turns out there's a notion of a discriminant of a cubic polynomial as well, built off, off of the cubic equation, and we can use that to find the number of real roots of a cubic polynomial. Now, this is by no means the easiest way to get the solution, but it's possible that if you're a super well-prepared math competitor, you might have this notion of the discriminant of a cubic polynomial at the tip of your brain to use. I certainly had to look it up, but I knew it did exist. So the second hint gives us a quicker and easier solution, and that is every cubic polynomial has at least one real root. So you wanna find it and factor it out. That's really all I'll say about this hint, because if I give a little bit more, it'll almost give the problem away. Okay, so let's jump into this first solution. So let's look at our first solution, and we're gonna start off with this fact, which has to do with that discriminant of the cubic polynomial like I talked about in the hint. So the fact goes like this. Let's suppose we've got a cubic polynomial, capital AX cubed plus capital BX squared plus capital CX plus D, and we know that this cubic polynomial has only real roots, so in other words, no complex roots, if and only if this thing, which is called the discriminant, is bigger than or equal to zero. So notice here we have 18 ABCD minus four B cubed D plus B squared C squared minus four AC cubed minus 27a squared d squared. So notice that this is like a homogeneous quartic polynomial in the coefficients of this cubic polynomial. So obviously there's a lot of work that goes into constructing this result, so we're not gonna do that in this case. Okay, so now what we wanna do is apply this result to our case. So let's say applied to our case, and just to point out, our case has a equals d equals one, and it has b equals c equals little a, where that is like our parameter that's building our cubic polynomial. So what we get here is 18a squared, and then minus four a cubed plus a to the fourth, and then next we have minus another four a cubed, so that's one, two, three, four terms. So we have one last term and that's gonna be minus 27. So we want that thing to be bigger than or equal to zero. If this thing is bigger than or equal to zero, then we have all real roots. Now the next thing that we wanna do is maybe simplify this a little bit and put it in decreasing order of the exponents of A. So notice that this is exactly the same thing as a to the fourth minus eight a cubed. And then we're gonna have plus an 18 a squared minus 27. So that needs to be bigger than or equal to zero. Now this might look like it's too much to work with, but we can actually factor this. Perhaps we could use the rational root theorem to factor it. And so the rational root theorem says that possible rational roots of this will be plus minus one, plus minus three, plus minus nine, and plus minus 27. So it's always gonna be plus minus the factors of the constant term divided by the factors of this term over here, which is the highest order term. So it turns out that it's not too hard to factor this. If you um, use this rational root theorem, what you will find is you get 
negative one is one of the roots and positive three is one of the roots and those are the only roots and I'll skip the factoring but what we get is the following this factor is like a plus one times a minus three cubed and so we want that to be bigger than or equal to zero but notice that this is bigger than or equal to zero if and only if a plus one times a minus three is bigger than or equal to zero what we did is we divided by a minus three squared but that's always positive kind of not worrying about the part where like a equals three because notice that's on the edge anyway okay great so now it's essentially a pre-calculus problem to determine the values of a when this is bigger than zero we could maybe do it by taking a number line and splitting it up via those roots and then finding uh, the some values at test points so notice some important points here are um, a equals minus one and then a equals positive three so notice if we plug in something larger than positive three then we have a positive number times a positive number so that will be positive so that means this region bigger than three is a region where we have a positive discriminant then if we plug in something between negative one and positive three we'll get a negative number as an output because we will have a positive number times a negative number that's going to be negative and then further if we plug in something to the left of negative one we'll end up with negative times negative which is positive so that means that here we have a is in the union of two half closed intervals given by minus infinity up to minus one union um, three up to infinity great but now given the fact that we already know that a only comes from this interval minus three to four we can go ahead and intersect this with the interval minus three to four remember that's those are the only a values we're thinking about in the first place so we only need to consider those values of a which tells us that the a values that give us positive roots here sorry i should say a positive discriminant or real roots are given by the union of closed intervals minus three to minus one union three to four so that's what we get if we make that intersection but now notice that the total length of these two intervals is three the length of this one is two and the length of this one is one so the total length is three but the total available length of the interval from which we are taking a is seven so that means our probability is going to be three over seven it's the length of our quote-unquote good interval in other words the interval that gives us a positive discriminant in other words real roots and the total length of the interval okay so now i'm going to go ahead and clean this up and we're going to look at a bit simpler of a solution that doesn't use the discriminant of a cubic polynomial now we're ready to look at our second solution so our second solution will use the fact that all cubic polynomials have at least one real root then we're going to factor that real root out so we want to notice the following fact let's take our cubic polynomial which is x cubed plus ax squared plus ax plus one and let's go ahead and evaluate that at x equals minus one and notice that that means we get a zero so let's talk our way through that minus one cubed is obviously minus one plus one is zero minus one squared is one so we have a minus a is zero so minus one is definitely a root of this guy great and now we could use polynomial long division so i'll let you guys check this but it's not too hard to see so polynomial long division will give us the following equation so x cubed plus ax squared plus ax plus one equals x plus one that's factoring out that real root times x squared plus a minus one x plus one great and i should say we arrived at this guess that minus one could be one of the real roots by the rational root theorem just like we kind of used in the last solution 
Great. Now notice here, this gives us one real root. Obviously the real root in that case is x equals minus one. And then this gives us two real roots if and only if the discriminant, which I'll call delta, that's a standard notation for the discriminant of a quadratic uh, polynomial, is bigger than or equal to zero. Remember, the discriminant of a quadratic polynomial is this b squared minus 4ac term. So that means we have a total of three real roots, and I should say counting multiplicity, we might have only one unique real root, but it has multiplicity three or something like that. So we have a total of three real roots if and only if the discriminant of this quadratic is positive, but that's gonna be b squared. In that case, that's a minus one squared minus four times a times c, so that's minus four is bigger than or equal to zero. But now, notice that that is the same thing as a squared minus 2a minus 3 is bigger than or equal to 0, just by multiplying out the left-hand side of that inequality. But now we can factor this thing, and that factors like a minus 3 times a plus 1, which is bigger than or equal to 0. But that's exactly one of the statements that we had in our last solution, so we can follow the same exact steps that we did in that last solution to arrive at the same solution. In other words, the probability is 3 sevenths. Okay, and that's a good place to stop.